What up, randomies? This is your boy Gizmo GX, and welcome to week eight of the IBA Little Cup series. And in this week, we are taking on Kershaka, aka the coach of the Conway Embors. So in this week, we are doing yet again another voiceover for this. And the reason why I'm doing a voiceover for this one was because during the time of this recording, it was super hot, and I was not really trying to. Well, actually, I had computer problems, so I only had time to actually record, or I only had the amount of power to record just the gameplay in that point in time. So I didn't want to go through all that hassle to try to record uh, commentary as well. So I just did it separate, and this is what came up. So from here on out. This is going to be like, I mean, po post commentary, not live commentary, what I was trying to not say. Whatever. Anyways, so this is our match against Kershaka. Man, I had a long voice day. I've been using my voice a lot lately. I don't know why. But anyways, uh, so we're going up against Kershaka and during um, his team, I saw his team, and I was, sh I, again, I did not prep for this team whatsoever. I was just like, you know what, let's go for it. Let's bring a weird combination of a, of a squad, and let's hope for the best. So I did it again. I didn't plan week eight's match whatsoever. So that's what the team we brought. Anyways, I had a feeling that he, which I started to realize a lot going into the, with the team I had. Is that I would either go out with Mantike or Feral Seed, but the reason why I went into Feral Seed usually more often was to set up some Stealth Rocks. But seeing that the way he built his team, I saw uh, Score Bunny, and I was just like, let me see if I could check him with Mantike, and I did. That's what you, you saw like a couple seconds ago. I sent out Mantike, I checked him with um, Score Bunny, so we went out to Wooper, and I went for the Confuse Ray, I think. Or I went for Scald. Whichever. Whichever I went for. I did something. So here's where the shenanigans happen. And I love it. I love it. I literally reduced this. Uh, what is it? Whooper. In, into nothing. It was worthless. That's that's how interesting this was. So I go went ahead and went out to Ferrosi To hopefully check this Whooper as well. And guess what? Look, look. This is what I love the most about this match. I got hacks on my side in the positive way but then later on we will see how that pays out for your boy so early game hacks was pretty good you know i'm not gonna complain this i saw the whoops uh uh what's it called i saw the perspective from curse and wow he could have wrecked me with his uh, i think he was trying to go for yawn and he could have wrecked me he could have done a number on my squad i could have been done that I, I wouldn't even had the potential to like no win. Like, I couldn't even win if he put every mon to sleep. <laughs> That's how broken his team was. So as you see as his team, it's pretty broken. Pretty strong. Especially with Libriel. Uh, Score Bunny, it, it is just game changer. Big game changer. It has... It could change his weakness to anything it wants. To, uh, well, obviously. It's only limited to its movesets. But, that's besides the point. Now, that, that's what makes Score Bunny really good. And very versatile. So anyways, this is what I do. This is what I decide to do. And I believe I went for the Confuse Ray. Because I like to have home field advantage at all times. But knowing me, I probably went for the Tailwind. Right? Right? I've been I've been doing that a lot lately. I've noticed that. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's not really much you can do with Mantike. You could try to go for Icy Wind maybe to slow down some folks but i went for the confuse ray and again this is where the hacks come in clutch i love hacks i cannot get enough of it so this is what you actually see it's, it's hilarious i love it <laughs> so uh again i take very long in choosing my moves now when you actually see the commentary the commentary is different because i feel like the commentary takes up most of my move picking so which is hilarious again i apologize to everyone who has to wait on me i just like think too much of every single move so that's why one of the reasons why i take forever to go ahead and choose a move and again i get so much luck that i even flinch this man <laughs> i flinch him Confuse the whooper and multiple occasions and now it's just rendered useless. 
Can't do anything. It's super slow mod. Let's see. Let's see um whooper space speed. Let's see. Whooper. I know it's pretty slow, right? Whooper whooper. Uh let's see. Base 15. It was just useless with that amount of HP. Now we have Electric to just scare me out. Which I did. It did scare me out. So I decided to go and move out and go into Divinity, I believe. Now, I believe Divinity was the only one who was even strong enough to take on th this on because... Or actually, I let the scene die, didn't I? No, I didn't. No, no, no. I went into Divinity. Um, because it, had, it was the only one that could have potentially survived one move because of the Focus Sash, which it did come into play as we see later on in a little bit. And I love Divinity for this. So, come on. Come on, big Divinity, goddammit. Gasmo, what are you waiting for? I know I'm talking to myself in the third person. Gasmo, just swap already, bro. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. All right, we go into Divinity. We have Esper. I take the hit. Uh, Well, I don't know by how much, though. Okay, for a good, like, under half. And it did a good amount of damage. Now... I don't know what was going through his mind. It's been a while since I've seen his perspective. And I didn't know what he was going to swap into. I really didn't have any type of clue. He could have gotten Score Bunny and just took me out. If, I, if I'm if i honest. Yeah, he could have. Well, let me see. Esper Speed. What is Esper Speed? Uh, Esper Speed. Uh, 68. And then you have a Score Bunny. Here. Oh, wow. Yeah, he could have... Why didn't he go into Score Bunny? He could have just U-turned me if he was max speed. I think it was max speed on my end, too. So, but still, I think Score Bunny would have been a wiser choice to go to U-turn and just take me out at that range, anyways. But guess what? This rock side got nothing on Divinity. That's why my name is Divinity. And I shoot that energy ball in your face and take it. Mmm, baby. Get knocked down on the floor. On the ground. Six feet under. Let's go. So I, I'm unfortunately, I, I love uh, unfortunately for my my boy, he did get wrecked, <laughs> but I love it because you know, I'll take any W's I can because this match was pretty much useless. I I kind of, uh, regardless if I won or not, I did not make any impacts in Shaka making it to playoffs or not. But I could have had Goki done his job correctly. And won a match, and he could have. My, my, my match would have meant something. <laughs> it would have meant something. But oh well. I'm not blaming Goki for whatever reason. I mean, I, I, ugh, my, my commentary. I'm not blaming Goki for not for anything. That's what I was trying to say. But, anyways, going back into the match, we go into Drift Loon, and here I thought, I mean, I'm pretty much gonna let this Esper go down, regardless of how things go. So I might as well just go and send out the Psychic, and the Psychic doesn't pick up the KO, which I'm pretty pissed off about. Come on, Esper, shoot out some more game out for your boy. And that is how the story of the legendary Esper got taken down. Really. So we have one Mon down, and now all we can do is send out our god. Uh, which just ha so happens to be my boy. Come on. I know who it is. It's Ifrit. Um, the reason why I sent out Ifrit was to just get that speed up. Really. That's the only reason I wanted it. So I could get that flame charge. And that's... Now, there's a lot of movesets that you could have gone with Ponyta. You could have gone with Flare Blitz. But I don't want to go with Flare Blitz. For the main reason was because it would do recoil damage and i guess it it does pay out because you could secure the ko on certain mons but i like the flame charge which boosts up your speed and that makes you way faster than anyone else as long as you get the fire flame charge in a good situation like that one it'll be really effective so you can outspeed any choice scarf mon at that point and then maybe you could run flare blades on the side so that's why i love ponyta solar blade give it a power Amazing, does wonderful damage. And from here on out, we decide to go ahead and sweep with Ponyta for a little bit. Uh, we take on Electric down. We already took down the Drift Loon. The next one that's going to come up is not Score Bunny, but... Uh, well, it, 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 in the screen is Score Bunny, but at, during this point in time, I actually didn't 
even cross my mind for it to be Zoro. I, I didn't even. I think I didn't even realize Zoro was a thing in the, at this point. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess it slipped my mind. But regardless, he fooled me, and I went for the flame charge. I don't know why. I why did I go for the flame charge? <laughs> I guess I wanted to test it out if it really was Score Bunny. Oh yeah, maybe I did. That's why I wanted to test it out. Wow. Okay, whatever. I should have gone for the play rough. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, that that was Zora, and we have some moves to take care of it, and we had play rough, so we went ahead and gone with the play rough and try to take him out. That was the play, and we did. So why are you debating, Gizmo? Gizmo, the the answer is right there. What are you waiting for? I know it's like a base 10% chance of, I mean, not a base 10, but there's a 10% chance of you missing. But just take the risk, boy. Take the risk. Come on. What are you waiting for, bro? There you go. So we take on, we take out the Zora, and now we're left with one Mon. Now, honestly, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I thought I was going to kill, I was going to, I was going to kill it with, uh, Ponyta, but I completely forgot that Score Bunny had access to Sucker Punch, and I hate Sucker Punch. God damn it. I've lost many mons due to Sucker Punch on multiple occasions in past uh, leagues, so I share a lot of sympathy with those who get wrecked by Sucker Punch. So yeah, Sucker Punch for the win. Let's go. It takes me down. Number two is gone. And during this point in time, I think he was trying to go for Durantials and kill as many mons so that he could make it into that. But I don't think that mattered. Did it? I don't think so. Uh, whatever. I don't know how the stats work that well, but uh, that was one of the perspectives on his point of view. So if you guys haven't checked his, it will be in the description of this video. So definitely go ahead and check it out. It was, it's definitely worth watching, in my opinion anyways. So yeah, we get acrobatics. Now, I don't remember if this team had an item or not. Did it? I'm pretty sure it did have an item. Or maybe I'm being dumb. Oh well, whatever. So that's that. And we're going to go ahead and go for the Confuse Ray in hopes that we can hopefully do get some a, a potential 4 -oh, Maybe that's what I was trying to go for. But guess what? Life is not like that. Life just doesn't go my way sometimes. Ugh. Can anyone relate? Can anyone relate? Let me know in the chat. Or in the comments. Jeez, I've been spending with too many people to say in the chat. God damn it. <laughs> Whatever. So I try to take them out. And guess what? Guess what? That that early RNG wasn't was good at the beginning, but now at the end it ain't for your boy. It's coming after me now. Look at that. And that air slash and he avoided the <laughs> At this point I was so done with this game. At this point I was like, am I really gonna get swept by a score bunny? I at this point that's what I was that I was like, all that hard work early on. For me to get swept by a score bunny, at this point, I didn't care about differentials. I just wanted to win this match. I was, just, and then look at that. The RNG broke out of confusion. Well, it didn't break out of confusion, but he pushed through the confusion. And I'm just like, I'm going to get swept. There's, there's no way I can get enough damage out there. So I go into Kyle Ken. I go into Ryolu. And I just start going at it. And I try to take him out. But guess what? Guess what? Look at it. Look look at the RNG at the end. Acrobatics. God damn it. The confusion. Ugh. I'm so mad at myself. Look. I potentially, I potentially could have given him a free kill. But I was trying to go for the earthquake and try to KO him. Which I would have had, I, had he hit himself and I landed my move. But guess what? I, I didn't. <laughs> I did not. Oh, actually. If I had lived... I wouldn't have done anything because it would have been a flying type and ground. <laughs> well, ground doesn't do anything to flying types. So anyways, we go on to Bagon. And here is where we try to just finish him off. Which I believe... I don't remember who finished off Score Bunny. Good question. I think I did with... uh, With... Yeah, I think I did it with Bagon. Hmm. Yeah, I did. Uh, right? Uh, does Scor actually does Score Bunny have access any to any like fairy type moves? Not that I'm aware of. No. All right, couldn't. And it hit itself finally. So now I yeah, this is where I landed my Dragon Rush and I pick up the KO, and that was GG's. So I two old my man. 
So, uh, unfortunately, it could have been a 5 0. If I had known about Sucker Punch, maybe I could have prevented it. I don't know. It could have been. But whatever. So we got the W, and that was the match. So, if you guys enjoyed this match, drop down a like, comment down below what was your favorite part of this episode. And yeah, so with that being said, I will see you guys in the draft analysis video in a little bit. Peace!